Hey guys, Gemma from ASD Rocks. Uh, clearly not dressed, not showered, nothing. I have just bolted down to the school because I got a phone call from um, from the school. They uh, both forgot his biology class, but he, uh, biology um, booklet. So I threw on some clothes, bolted down, went and gave him uh, his stuff. But this whole thing came up overnight because he came, he said yesterday that his biology teacher was causing some problems and we got him a dictaphone right because for all of his classes and so we actually played back uh which has been so good not just for what i thought it would be good for but we played back the part that um he was having trouble with so basically the trouble is the teacher puts up the notes and a diagram she asks the class to take down the notes and draw the diagram um, and Bo has great difficulty drawing the diagrams it takes him such a long time he feels that he doesn't have enough time to do the questions in the rest of the class so I'm listening to the recording where she says, take down the notes and draw the diagram. And all of a sudden, Bo's echolalia lets loose and he screams out in the middle of the class, no, what righteous, no righteous God would inflict such suffering. What righteous God would inflict such suffering? And I said, Bo, you can't, like, and to the teacher's credit, she handled it really well. I think she actually thought they were talking, he was, because it was biology and they were talking about Hodgkin's disease. And I think she meant, I think she thought he meant, you know, what righteous God would inflict such suffering on people, but he didn't. He was directly talking about her and the fact that she has, he had to write down, um, these notes and, and do this this diagram anyway so I got the call and like she's she's a hard ass she's a, she's a real hard ass um I was listening to the lesson and she was like right guys you are you know what the last person was six minutes late to this class and I'm going to start taking time back from you obviously Bo's never late but um you know she's she's really uh, very uh, disciplinarian, which is fine because Bo's fine with that. But um, I ran down the biology book and I thought, you know what? I, I told Bo, I said to him, you can't, like, you know, he's obviously heard this phrase. Oh my God, I, Paul, I've just woken up. He's obviously heard this phrase on YouTube or something. And because he doesn't make up his own sentences and words like that, so he's taken this phrase, he's heard it, you know, someone is watching something and then they've screamed out, what righteous God would inflict such suffering? And he's taken that and he's used it. And I said to him, you have to apologize. Even though you're at home now complaining about her, you have to apologize. So I was there, I, I just dropped off the biology book and I said, look, I don't suppose she's available. You know, maybe we can just get this all out right now. Um, and start a fresh slate and she did she actually came which is brilliant but I have to say she wasn't overly like open to an apology which was a bit disappointing I mean she was wearing a mask it was hard to tell if she was smiling or not but you know she was just sort of nodding um, and then sort of I explained and said you know I think the difficulty is that you know it takes him so much time he doesn't feel like he's got enough time to answer the questions and she said well you know Bo I've told you that um, you know if, if the, that's a problem you've got access to these diagrams you don't have to you don't have to copy them down and he said she said I've told you that before and he said yeah but I thought that was for the one time that I asked I didn't know that because she said she, I, I listened to the thing she says take the notes and draw the diagram so if all the kids have access to these diagrams and notes other than the drilling of making them write it down 
there's sort of almost no reason for them to do that. But anyway, so he's said to her that he has a problem. He has difficulty doing it. He's done well. He's expressed himself. I have trouble right, uh, drawing these diagrams because then I don't have time to do the actual class work because of the notes. Um, and she said, but I've told you not that you don't have to. And he's, he's taken that as today. He hasn't taken that as a blanket rule. And I've looked at her and I said, do you see? I, so I said, well, okay, now we know that that means all the time. You, you don't have to draw down the notes all the time. Don't worry about it. Um, but she, she sort of didn't want to really take on that this communication issue is obviously an, uh, an issue. Um, so then... So then I said, um, you know, the most important thing is that, you know, you understand he, he didn't, you know, you can't call that out. I'm calling him out on it. Um, he's not allowed to say that. I said also, Bo, not only is it inappropriate to, you know, you can think it inside your head, but not only is it inappropriate to say it to a teacher, um, but also in class, because you can disrupt the rest of the class by by saying you know these sorts of things whether you truly understand I mean I don't even know how much Bo understands about religion or God or anything like that um, it's not something we've ever really gone into because when you've got a kid that you're teaching mama mama to you know the concept of religion and God is not something that uh, you're worried about toileting and food yes but God, not so much. Um, so I said, you know, you can't, you can't just sort of yell it out in class because it's 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 a statement that's going to um, most likely disrupt the classroom. And the teacher was like, yeah, yeah. And you know what that class can be like. And I said, and I highly encourage you both. And I said it intentionally. I say a lot of this stuff intentionally in front of the teachers. I said, if you've got questions go direct or you have to say something or you're having trouble with something go directly up to her and ask her in private directly and then she interjected and she said but after the class which is not going to help her help him at all because if he has questions for the class or if he has questions during the class or he doesn't understand how can he ask after the class and then she t said when I was explaining that um you know he has trouble writing down the notes she turned around and said well you know what um you're in year 11 mate and um you've got exams this year and you're gonna have to you're just gonna have to do better because I've had days where I've had six hours of exams and you know my hand's been cramping like this and I said to her well you know we have um, been contacted by the school about applying for special circumstances and exams and getting a computer so that he can he can get his answers down because the, the act of writing is actually really difficult for him and she's like well you know what you have to jump through a lot of hoops to get that kind of stuff so he's gonna have to work harder on it and I was sort of like okay okay um, so I think I think there's definitely going to be I mean we're only in the first term but there's definitely going to be an issue um, specifically in regards to biology now biology has never been a problem uh, for Bo I'm going to try and do something I was actually up stressing about it all night which is why I'm so glad I got the opportunity because I was said I'd write an email I told him he had to apologize even though I heard how harsh she was um, I really wanted a clean slate, but she was so unreceptive, very cold, very closed off, um, very unopen to even really the apology. Um, you know, she didn't say yes, thank you, but, um, I, she obviously felt she deserved it rather than being sort of humble about it and saying, you know, I, I must be difficult or th you know thanks for saying that um, she definitely wasn't uh, doing that so it, it's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting one I don't know who or how I'm gonna sort this out because ultimately in the end it does always come down to who and how I'm gonna sort it out with 
Uh, but um, yeah, that's, that's the drama. I'm gonna go inside and have a shower and get dressed for the day uh, and see, uh, hopefully things get better and I might draw up something to say, you know, even an email to, to just go over what we said in the class. Um, Cause I, I don't know what other hoops we have to jump through for the exam. I've already had everything filled out um, from the doctor. It was the school that contacted me for it. I've already filled out all the stuff and had everything returned to the school for application. So I don't know what other hoops there are that we're gonna have to jump through, but I'm gonna have to look into that um, because he is allowed, um, as far as I know, he's allowed a laptop to write his answers. Anyway, uh, I'll email Bo and just remind him, don't worry about taking, uh, drawing any more diagrams, just get your work done and it'll all be fine. So that was a pretty cool start to the day.